Hi, it's Roseanne. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to strengthen your lower abdominal muscles while working in more of a neutral pelvis. So some of us have a, a really hard time uh, coming into neutral and actually working from neutral. And it is tough. It's a difficult thing to do. Uh, it takes, it requires a lot of strength to do that. Um, many times we work in imprints because the muscles aren't strong enough and that's fine for so long, but then we have to really up our ante of our game and get really, really strong in these lower belly muscles while also helping our lower back muscles to be as strong too. So the whole core, the transverse abdominis can pull in and support your spine. So I have a blanket out here and I've rolled this blanket up to create what I call the cigar roll. And the cigar roll will vary from everybody depending on your back, but you'll know you're in the right place. And I'm actually gonna take my shoes off for this. I recommend not doing it with shoes on in the beginning until you get really, really strong. So I'm gonna make sure that this cigar roll is really good for my lower back. That means I've got a natural curve. I'm not flat. I'm not in that imprint pelvis. My glutes are relaxed. I'm not using my glutes to imprint. Um, I'm in an arch position. So adjust it so it feels good that you have your arch, your mouse house. I'm going to go through a, ser a sequence of exercises. I'm only going to show you one leg for the most part. You'll do both legs, obviously. Hands at the side. Neck is long. Pick your head up and tuck your chin to your chest. Stretch your neck out. If you need to, you can put a little bit of a, a prop under your head. If you're a real chin popper and your shoulders are up, and you know who you are. So if your head's like this, I'm, I'm going to suggest that you take something and make sure that your chin is tucked, your eyes are looking over your knees, hands at the side. Take a breath in to prepare, and you're going to flatten into that cigar roll, and you're activating your lower abdominals, but you have your arch. Bring your leg to tabletop. Then you're going to bring that leg down and bring the other leg up. So we alternate one leg at a time. Exhale, inhale, maintaining the pressing down on the blanket. So my pelvis is neutral, but my transverse abdominus is engaged. You'll do about five reps of each leg to get the feel for these muscles pressing down and in. They're not, make sure your stomach's not popping up. Pull the belly in. Now, after the fifth rep, you're going to keep one leg up. I'm going to use my right leg for, uh, for this video. You'll do both legs, one at a time, as I said. So from tabletop, you extend the leg out. My thighs are about in line with each other, then you're going to bring the knee in. Now, see my hand is here. I don't go back any further because I've already imprinted. Tailbone down. Press out and in. Exhale. Inhale. Three. Nice long line here, too. I want that quad contracted, and I want the hamstring lengthened. And one more. Hold that there. Now, with the leg straight, you'll lift up only as high as you can to keep your legs straight. If your knee's bending, you've gone too far, okay? I need you to really anchor down your sits bone. And then lower down, maybe only as low as your thighs. And up. Over time, you will be strong enough to bring your leg all the way down and all the way up. Strong mean quad strength, hamstring stretch. Down and up. If your knee starts bending, your hamstrings are taking over. I want the lower belly muscles to do the work. Two more. And one more. Great. From here, the legs stay straight, and you're going to make little circles. Five, four. I'm crossing my center line. Three, my quad is engaged. Two, my hamstrings are lengthened. And one, and reverse it. My left foot is anchoring down not to move my hips. For four, and three. This is a lot of work in those abs. Two, and one. Bend your knee in and place it down. Then you'll do the other side. Once you are strong enough, and it takes time, so this is not an overnight operation. Once you're strong enough, you'll bring one leg up to the tabletop, then the other. 
Now for this demonstration, I'm gonna use my left leg because my right leg already did a lot of work. Tabletop legs, I'm gonna push one leg out. My hands are here to stop the leg from going any further. Exhale and inhale. Here's three, stretching that leg out straight, completely straight. Two and one. From here, we'll straighten the leg out. This next exercise, you lift up. Maybe thighs are lined up with each other and then down. And exhale on the lift, because it's a lot of ab recruitment. Inhale down, keep the imprinted on the blanket. Three and two and one. Keep that leg straight. Now this bottom leg, you can take it down if you'd like. And let's make circles. My bottom leg is straight, five, four, top leg straight, three, there might be a little bend in the knee, two, one, and reverse it, five, four, deep, deep belly muscles, three, two, my abs are pulled in and up, and one, bend the knee and place the foot down. So that's a lot of work there. You'll know the difference, so I'm going to take, lift my hips up and I'm going to unroll my cigar roll. Oh, you can feel that space in your back. And then you can test it out. Can you go into that same march, maintaining a neutral pelvis, rib cage is down, you're not popping your ribs, so your abs are braced. Then you can go into, and this is advanced, we're going to go one leg out, and then the other leg out. For your beginning level, it's one leg at a time, okay? As you get more in advanced in this so you can keep sustain you can alternate one leg and then the other same thing with the legs lifted you can lift take one leg down and then switch other leg down but i'm really keeping the belly engaged here the lower abdominals are not popping my back muscles are working a lot of breath here i'm using those abs lower abs two and last one and done now bend your knees and roll into your back Again, this is a lot of work to maintain the connection of lower belly and back muscles pulling together. I hope this was helpful for you today. Uh, again, five reps, maybe eight reps max, quality movement, slow, controlled. Feel your quads working. Feel the lower belly muscles working. The blanket helps to support that natural curve of your back. And before you know it, you will have abs of steel. <laughs> I hope this helps. Have a great day. Bye-bye.